Hello everybody, my name is Hunter, and welcome back to another episode of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Uh, today, we're going for another three cups of three-star completion. And, um, hopefully this time, we don't have any issues with blue shells ruining our whole day. So we're gonna get right into this. Um, uh, 150cc. Still rocking Metal Mario. And, uh, still don't have anything... Um... Very interesting yet. So, still running a pretty basic setup. Um... We're gonna start with Crossing Cup, and then go down to Shell and Banana Cup. For this episode. So, let's get into it. And we're starting off with arguably the worst track in Mario Kart. Um, Baby Park is chaotic in a way, but not in a fun way. Not in an interesting way. It's just very bland. Items are just flying everywhere. There's not really... It's, um, I don't know. The scenery is cool with the, the amusement park in the back. The music is definitely fitting, but I wouldn't call it good. I do like that it gets faster with every lap. But, um, it doesn't... The music doesn't save this. Um, Baby Park gets a 2 out of 10 for me. I really could go without it. Plus, you can't tell who you've already lapped and who's in second until you've already finished, pretty much. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna get out of here. Nice and easy, nice and quick. No issues. Thankfully, we hopefully we can get through the rest of this cup without having to play Baby Park again. Next up, we got Cheese Land, which is um, an old classic from Game Boy. Um, Cheese Land's kind of a tough one on any even on 150 it's kind of tough because uh, it's this the track is sandy so it's slidey a little bit um, if we're gonna count this as a desert track this is probably oh boy this is probably the, the best desert track that, that's in the game but it's it's not my favorite track but it's definitely not bad either it's kind of boring. Com uh, the scenery is kind of boring compared to others. But the racing is really uh, challenging. As you can see, I'm really not doing well here. I need to stay on track. Worry about driving. Worry about collecting coins because. Oh my gosh. Koopa just took the shortcut and passed me up, just like that. Yeah, I'm really trying to worry about getting items and coins and stuff, but... Oh no! Excuse me. Chain chomp. Slide through here. Um... So, Cheese Land, um, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. The driving is good, but the track design itself is meh. And I didn't time that correctly. This one might be the death of me by pure not racing well enough. To 
get doubles here. Okay. Once I started breaking, went a little better, but man, that one was a lot rougher than I wanted it to be. Two for two. Hopefully that one was good enough for me to get a three star, but we shall see. All right, next up, we got Wild Woods. And uh, from what I can remember, I like this track. It's a, a new track to this game. I say new. It's came out when this game came out, when the Crossing Cup came out. So I believe the Crossing Cup was in the deluxe version. And that's when it came out. Um... The, the scenery is pretty cool. It's a little like Shy Guy Fortress kind of thing. It's got the water, which is always a good touch. When you can drift down the water and stuff. Um, it's got the twisting and turning of new Mario Kart. Um, I don't have much else to say other than that. The driving is, you know, average. It's not too difficult. There's not really any spots that I can think of on 150cc that make me go, wow, how am I going to do this in 200cc? Other than the water, but I know in the water in 200cc you have to drift. Or, not drift. You have to break anyway, so. So, uh, I'll give this a 7 out of 10. Pretty good, but not... You know, it doesn't stand out, but it's a good track. I'm just gonna take this this path this time, just for funsies. Let me see that one. I'm way ahead. That's not going to help me. Still don't think it's going to matter though. Yeah. Still way ahead. No blue shell, thankfully. Blue shell might have put me in a sticky situation. Alright, and the star of this... Cup, the work the cup gets his name is Animal Crossing, and this one actually changes depending on what season you're in. So right now, it's basically springtime. At least I believe that's what, what it does. Just like in real Animal Crossing. Um, so right now it's springtime pretty much. So we're in spring Animal Crossing. Someone correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that's how this works. Maybe it's just random, but I know there's four seasons of this. There's a winter one, there's a, a fall one, and there's a summer one. Um, for people who like Animal Crossing, this is probably their favorite track in the game. Because Animal Crossing doesn't usually get enough recognition for them, but... Um, for me, there's a few spots in this in this track that kind of get you, but for the most part, it's an average driving track, just like a lot of other ones. I hear blue shell coming. It's a while down the lane, but and like every once in a while, you can catch too much speed. Wow, I'm just gonna get hit with everything at once. All right, we'll definitely take that. Get hit with the shock and the blue shell and the red shell at the same time, so saves us pain. The scenery in this game is pretty, you know, what you would expect. I know a couple of those corners there you have to break around in 200cc, but 
In 150, this is normal. Nothing crazy. Um, overall, I give this one a seven as well. Not one of my favorites, but it's a solid track. I don't hate playing it. And even though we didn't do well on um, Cheese Land, we still get the three star. And thankfully, so because I didn't want to play Baby Park again. So now I believe that means we're onto the Shell Cup. Let's see what we unlocked that time. Free advertisements for Mercedes Benz. And yeah. So we got six done so far. Out of a whopping 72 total. And now we're under the Shell Cup. And I don't really remember what this has to offer, but we're starting off pretty strong. Because uh, it's a Wii track and we hits home to, to my heart. So, we're starting off with Moo Moo Meadows. And I must say... This track bring, brings back a lot of memories for me. Um, probably not as much as like Mushroom Gorge from the Wii or uh, Coconut Mall, of course. But it definitely brings but brings me back to when I was a little kid playing Mario Kart on my Wii. Um, the scenery isn't anything special because it's you know it's a farm so but they did well with what they had the cows going into the road that's a great addition that I think wasn't in the original Wii version maybe it was I might be remembering it wrong but um, I do remember the the gophers I've can't think of what their names are in Mario. I do remember them being there. Um, the, driving on this track isn't tough at all. It's a very standard track, which is why it's on the Shell Cup. It's nothing to be worried about. It's a very beginner driving track. Um, what brings this, this track home for me, I think, is the music. For some reason, the music just brings back such a nostalgic memory for me, and uh, I don't know, it just ties the whole whole thing together for me. Uh, I'm gonna give Moo Moo Meadows an eight out of ten. I won't be too biased and give it like a ten because there's better Wii tracks in this game, but I'll say eight out of ten for that one. And now we got Mario Circuit from Game Boy Advanced, and what they did with this track is actually really cool. Um, they definitely improved this track from something that, you know, it's in every Mario Kart game pretty much, but it's like how many times we have to play this over and over again. So now, you know, they added this, this looping turn section here. They made it more modern and it's def it definitely needed it because I know everyone who plays Mario and has been playing Mario for a long time gets sick of the Mario circuit because there's so many of them from different games and they're all just pointless but uh the music is a nice jazzy you know Mario Kart vibe to it um, the track itself, once again, very standard, nothing crazy. It's what you would expect from a Mario Circuit track, but just a little bit updated. Um, usually, 
I would give a Mario Circuit track like a 5 out of 10. Just because it's very standard. But I would say this one specifically, I would give a 7 out of 10. Just based on the improvements that they made in this game and what my thoughts on the track are. I can't really bash the track for being not having any flaws. But I can't give it a, a 9 or a 10 just for being a standard track. So it looks like we're not going to have any issues to finish this one. That's usually how it goes on some of these lower level cups. I just gain a huge lead and then there's nothing to... Nothing that can really stop me other than a few like hits in a row. Or me falling off somehow. But And then another throwback here. We got Cheap Cheap Beach. From DS, and once again, another nostalgic track for me. This might have been one of the first tracks I ever played in Mario Kart, because I played the DS version first. And I do seem to remember this track specifically from the DS being pretty good. And um, the scenery, once again, it's what you would expect. It's cheap, cheap beach. It's not anything. It's it's nice. It it's not too overbearing. It's just a, a nice beach scene, and a mostly simple track. I hit a wall. <laughs> um, it's basically untouched from the DS version, but. Let's be honest, it didn't really need touch in the first place. Um, I'm gonna stop yapping about it and give it an 8 out of 10. It's a pretty good track. Now, it's just a matter of not failing. Villager is really starting to gain on me. As well as our one of our nemesis rivals in this game is Rose Gold Peach. Who seems to be whenever she's here, she's always competing for first. Can never relax when she's around. Of course I got a coin there. So that's not gonna be very good for us. I'm just going to take the one. That's a good throwback. And here I'm going to grab two. And hope that... You know, of course. I run him first. It's just... Red shell, red shell, red shell. Blue shell. Lightning. Like, no matter what I do. I can race perfectly. The AI is still going to beat up on me. So far in this track, or this cup, three um, throwback tracks. I'm expecting a, a unique track here. No, four throwback tracks in, in the Shell Cup in this uh, Toad's Turnpike from N64, Mario Kart 64. Arguably the greatest Mario Kart game ever, but. Um, the music. As soon as it started, the music hit, and I must say, I do really love the music in, in Toad Stern Bike. Um, this sidewall edition, which I believe is only in this version of Toad Stern Bike, was a good addition, but at the same time, it kind of makes it a little easier around some turns because you can just avoid the cars and go on the sidewall. Uh, one thing I always liked about Toad Stern Bike was those little little skateboard or surfboard ramps on some of the cars. It was always I thought that was always a good idea. Let's grab some of these coins. Uh, this is also a new addition, I believe. 
is the the ramps with the glider deploy on it. I need to hit before I get this. See what I'm saying? Like, and uh, who else but Rose Gold Peach? That was a bad one. I didn't even trick off that one. Here it is again. Like, what the hell? I get a bomb. That's not great for for blocking with. And they are definitely gaining on me. So I'm gonna ignore everything and just take the inside turns here. I'm gonna say screw items on the outside and just go. See how I gain a huge lead as soon as I just take the inside lane. I've screwed that up a little bit, but it's fine. I'm just gonna take the inside again. And this is the finish line, right? Yeah. That was a very clean, clean run. No issues at all. Thank goodness. Not that I have a problem with driving on any of those again, but uh, I think I forgot to give to Turnpike a rating, so I'm going to say 9 out of 10. I really like Toe Turnpike. And yeah, 3 star. That was expected that time. There was no question for me. And every time we come out of one of these, we get a new upgrade. It's one of the things I really don't enjoy about this game is the amount of customization in the carts. Like, I like customization, don't get me wrong. But this is just a bit much. I'm going to take the quote-unquote acceleration from this. And uh, from the sneak peek of this cup, the banana cup, I see dry dry ruins, dry dry desert. And I'm cringing because another desert track in this game. This is now the third one we've done in... How many cups is this now? Eight? This is the eighth cup. So... You tell me. If you think this is kind of annoying, but... There's just too many versions of the same thing. And this is one of them. This one has the loop-de-loop -loop around the, the sinkhole. And there's a different one that has something different. There's the... Dry Bones Desert, or whatever that one's called. I think that one might be Dry Dry Ruins. This one, you just go underwater a little bit. I'm not a fan of the desert tracks at all, I'm gonna be honest. And they drive bad because they're on sand, so... Um, I'm giving this a 2 out of 10. I really just... Not a huge fan. I don't remember what I gave the other desert one, but... I remember I gave Cheese Land a decent score, at least. Because with- at least with Cheese Land, it's not just desert with, like, Egyptian... You know, Egyptian scenery, it's... Cheese, which is at least a little, you know, goofy. Kinda interesting. Alright, so, we have a huge lead. If we blow this one, I'd be surprised, but... I guess I've seen crazier things happen. It's Mario Kart. Crazy things are bound to happen in this game. One thing I've always wondered is... whether the coins I gather after hitting 10 count towards my coins gathered in the... Really? Now you're gonna start screwing me? Dude, I'm right at... I'm almost at the finish. Just let me get there. Anyway, I've always wondered if the coins that you gather count after 10 or not. 
I think they do, but... I'm not sure. I guess I could always go look at the coins I've gathered. I think that's a stat in this game. I think you could check your stats. And that's one of them. So I'm sure I could just go look, but... Well. This is another one of those tracks, Donut Plains, that has so many different tracks. But I feel like this track is unique enough in this current game, and I don't think there's another Donut Plains in this one, that um, I think it gets a pass for me. Let me just drive through it and see what we're working with, but... Um, it's a pretty standard Mario Kart track, and it's an older one at that, so... It's been in the game for a long time. Uh, the addition of the Gophers again is good. I, I'm okay with those all the time. Another obstacle is fine with me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, other than that... I don't really have much to say about this. It's Mario scenery, so it's, you know, good, not great, not bad. Nothing to knock, but at the same time, nothing to, like, get crazy for. I was gonna lose those bananas anyway, so I figured I might as well throw them back there. The only thing I wish is those, those couple turns there were a little bit longer. Just, I'm sure they are long enough to drift on if you're actually good at this game, but I'm not good enough to do that, so... Um... Did I give this one a rating yet? I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Nothing crazy. And the trend continues of old tracks here. Uh, N64 Royal Raceway. Royal Raceway. Royal Raceway. Man, that's hard for me to say for some reason. Um, and I actually quite like this one. The music is the classic raceway music. From like Mario uh, Mario Circuit, like the original Mario Circuit. Well, I guess not the original, but you know what I mean. Um, so I've always liked this music. It's Mario Kart music at its core. Um, the addition of Peach's Castle in the back is kind of teasing, though, because they should have had it go through the castle instead of just drive right past it. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, what else is there to say about this track? Uh, the driving itself is nice. Because you can drift around that couple of these corners really, really smoothly. Get some nice pink drifts out of it. All the turns kind of just link up really well. I hear a, a blue shell coming soon. Here it is. Not a bad place, bad place to get hit, but... This rose gold peach... coming back again. Rearing her ugly head. I want to get doubles there. I'll take it. Set her back some. I could have saved it. I probably should have saved it if I was smart. But I'm hoping that I can get a banana or shell here. Something to protect me. Eh, I get a coin. What, what would it be without the game screwing on items? Here comes another blue shell in the same place that the first one happened. Damn it. I wanted to stop before it. Let's go peaches on my tail. I gotta go. Gotta drive well too. There we go. 
Easy enough. Easy, 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 easy. Two blue shells cannot stop me. Um, Royal Raceway, I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. And DK Jungle. So far, we've just been getting throwback tracks. I wonder if the bottom row is all throwbacks. Uh, DK Jungle from 3DS. I don't remember this one from 3DS, to be honest with you. Because I don't really think of the 3DS game very fondly. It was kind of... Not great. So, this is going to be kind of a blind ranking here. Just me going through the race. And then at the end, I guess I'll have to give it a rating. The music, classic Donkey Kong music. From like, DK Country, I guess. Is that even what that's from? I'm assuming that's what it's from, but I'm going to be honest, I haven't really played much DK Country. And I know that the middle route here is better. It's just kind of hard to get. And obviously it's better, it's cutting off a short section, but you risk falling off there. I do like that, that section at the end there. Those little bongos are pointless, honestly. Not, there's not enough of them to make it hectic. I do remember this part. I, I remember this from this game. I don't really remember it from 3DS. So, I don't know. It's not, it's not bad, it's pretty good. Um, it's a DK track, which DK doesn't get enough respect sometimes. I feel like he gets enough in Mario Kart. He's had so many cla classics that, I mean, some of the best Mario Kart tracks ever are Donkey Kong based tracks. DK Jungle Parkway from uh, N64 comes to mind, as well as uh, DK Summit, I believe it is. From the Wii. I believe that's from the Wii. It might be from another game, but I remember from the Wii. You see me. Nope. Let's hope I don't get hit. Uh, I'm way ahead. Never mind. I don't gotta worry about nothing. That was clean as well. No issues in that cup either. Um, I'm gonna give that one a 7 out of 10. Actually, no, I'll, I'll give it an 8. It's good. And... I would be shocked if I didn't get a 3 star on this one. Easy enough. And... I really like that trophy with the barrel, the Donkey Kong barrel. Really interesting. I never noticed that before. Uh, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you leave a like. Comment down below what your opinions are on my ratings. And uh, if you want to see more of this, uh, as well as other games you want me to see, you want me to play. Um, and yeah. Subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you in the next one.